Hey there Arconiacs, I know it's been a bit, but I couldn't help but give a quick breakdown of our very first, very small teaser for Only Murders in the Building Season 3. I've got some off the wall theories from less than 30 seconds of footage, uh, so let's just get into it. We're going to come out the gate swinging and mention that for some reason Charles is wearing a very dirty suit in a couple frames here. I don't know if he's been hanging out in the walls of the Arconi again or he's doing something more nefarious. But what I found more interesting about this shot is what Charles has in his hand. Opposite of shaking Mabel's hand, it looks to be some sort of small washcloth or similar baby fabric. I think that it's a fair assumption seeing that it has what appears to be a pattern of baby rattles. We do see him later in the trailer in the same suit and it appears to be clean. He is out of focus in these other frames so we might not be able to see the dirt. It could also be uh, me not being able to grab very good frames but from what I can see it looks as if his suit is clean later in the trailer but I think that it is just reversed. His suit is clean, and then later he does something where his suit gets dirty. Either way, why would Charles be carrying something that belongs to a baby? This is throwing me for a loop. We have seen very few babies in the show, and I don't think that this belongs to Detective William's son, but who knows? After that, we get a shot of what appears to be another blackout. The blackout from season two was one of my favorite episodes, and I'm hoping we get more singing this season. That is followed by a shot of Mabel and Ben Glenroy. And the fact that Mabel appears to be wearing little to no makeup and the pillar behind her makes me think that these two could be in some sort of relationship, that this is likely taking place inside Mabel's apartment. I don't like this. Um, I really was hoping that Mabel would stay single for the season, but who knows, they could not be together at all or just a light friendly hookup here or there. But it does seem as if this is a very personal uh, situation with Mabel and Ben Glenroy. This is all totally unfounded really, but it also makes me believe that Ben is likely the person who is currently staying in Sting's apartment and how these two likely would have gotten close to each other. I'm assuming that she talked to Ben and they might have had some sort of trauma bonding that caused them to reveal things about each other and in that time he tells Mabel something that he did, something unforgivable. We see Ben as a bad guy. Charles wants him to stay away from someone and it looks as if that person could be Mabel. It could be a situation where Charles was overstepping his bounds and Ben and Mabel's relationship after she told him something that Ben had told her in confidence. I know it sounds a little confusing, but that's where my mind is going right now. And yes, there is literally nothing to go on that truly makes it appear as if Mabel and Ben were in some sort of uh, intimate relationship. Mabel with no makeup, talking to Ben, it could be something, but if we are to take the dialogue at face value like we have in seasons before, we have a line similar to one that we saw in season two's trailer. Mabel asking Charles, are you in? So are you in? Yeah. Are you in as in, are you in to continue the podcast again? Last season, Mabel needed a little talking to in order for her to decide to start back up on the podcast. She was trying to start over fresh and get into the art world, but this time it appears Mabel is the one that is asking Charles, is he in? So it would appear that Mabel could have more skin in the game this time around, as in she is the one that wants to get the ball rolling and she wants to find out what happened to Ben. She feels slightly at fault or she at least cares about him more than everyone else. This is why I believe she may have grown close to Ben in the year that we have not seen yet. Let's move on to Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep, the queen of cinema herself. We know now that she is indeed part of the play that Ben Glenroy dies in on opening night. And with a keen eye and my crappy ability to 
get screen grabs, we can see that her name is Loretta something. I can't make out what it is, but it does look like something along the lines of Derby, but it is not clear enough to tell what her full name is whatsoever, but I do believe that that does say Loretta. It could be way off. I can't make out what the name of her character is in the play. It is listed underneath her name in the show card. It seems, it says like the something. It could be like the killer, the mother, but my best guess is the nanny. Again, it is based off of a frame that's not clear whatsoever. We can see that Oliver Putnam's card says that he is the director and we get the best look at what the name of the play is. Again, I tried multiple frames, but this is the clearest I could get it. I'm guessing that it says something along the lines of not me too, with the two being shown numerically. We're not able to see the title of the show from Charles' card, nor can I make out his character's name within the play. Ben Glenroy's card, we can see, labels him as a detective in the story. What's more surprising than his clothing style is this man has knuckle tattoos. It makes me think that he's playing someone a lot younger than the actor Paul Rudd is. I'm guessing that this guy is in his mid 30s. Back to Meryl, her mug says Bye Bye Buffalo. This is most likely a play on the title of a musical from the 60s, Bye Bye Birdie, much like other off-kilter productions from Oliver Putnam, like New Work, New Work, and McBeats things of that nature. All shots of Meryl as her character Loretta appear to be at the first table read for this play. This is why Loretta wasn't aware that her next line was hers, causing her to say, oh, it's me, as in who was supposed to read this next line? Oh, it was me. You guys are waiting, me for, waiting for me to say my next line. I will add that Oliver and Loretta both have these stainless steel water bottles. I don't think that there's anything of note there really, but they have been coming more into style the last couple years. Also, there appears to be two versions of what I'm guessing is a poster for a play behind Loretta. They each have what looked to be a lighthouse, and it could be nothing, but posters were clues for the last season, and we don't have much to go on here other than the first two letters that we can see displayed on this poster is D-E. Now, that's not necessarily a title of the play or a film or a podcast or anything, but but we deal with a lot of death on the show, so I'm assuming that the line is something something like death at the lighthouse. Who knows? But what do you guys think the poster could probably say? Do you think that these lighthouse posters could be a clue to anything? The last thing that seemed interesting to me, though it could also be absolutely nothing, is that the trio is seen looking inside the elevator at the Arconia, but no one appears to be inside, nor are there any buttons pushed. I like to think that someone is pulling something sneaky here. I don't know if this is a flashback to before Ben was killed, or if this is during their investigation. I am assuming that most of these frames uh, most of these shots that we see are likely from the first episode or maybe episodes one and two i'm hoping in the upcoming days someone else pull better screen grabs than me and at least get the name of the play that's the thing i'm most interested in even though it probably doesn't have much to do with anything that's just what i really want to know but was there something i missed have you guys been able to find out anything from these quick little bits from this nice little teaser what do you think of ben and mabel being in some sort of a relationship are we calling them babel or maben i like babel 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 also why why would charles be carrying a baby themed cloth in his hands i don't know either way let me know what you think down below if i can stop being lazy i've got a series review for poker face that I need to record one for a couple movies that I've seen recently and um, what I'll probably try and do is knock out uh, some possible spoilers for episode titles maybe go through that and see what I think these titles an idea of what these episodes could be about I did it for season two um, I was partially right but mostly completely wrong but it was a fun video so I might do that again either way 
Let me know what you guys think about this teaser below. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Dallas, and I'll catch you on the rooftop.